In this movie, we're going to cover database changes. If there's anything constant about technology and people in general is that they change. Sometimes day to day, week to week, depending on your environment. Hopefully not too often in the case of databases. However, there are changes to databases. So in this case, I'm going to teach you how to take an existing report and point it at the new and improved data source, for example. It may not even have to be new and improved. It could also just be a different server, an uh, upgraded piece of hardware which requires a new location on your network domain. That's fancy talk for you move the machine and now it's got a different mailing address. Now that it has a different mailing address, we need to update it. In this case, I'm going to go to my database menu, click, and say set data source location. Currently it's connected to Crystal XI training database. And in this case, I need to make a new connection. I'm going to go to access and Excel slash DAO. That's direct access. From here, I need to find the database I'm looking for. Notice in our support files we have two databases, one with a modified at the end. Go ahead and choose the modified and open. Now press finish. Now I highlight that and I click update. And this should reflect the new location of my database. And now I close. From here, it should refresh. Keep in mind, this is a real simple database change. It's a mere change of address. We're going to address a few other types of database changes in the next movie or two. As you can see, it was actually fairly simple to point at the new one and create it again. Now, if you had to do an ODBC connection, that would mean you'd have to update your ODBC driver. In the case of ODBC, it's simple enough just to keep the same ODBC and point it to the new address, and you barely see any change here in Crystal at all. However, there will be times where you will need to point to a new data source. Now let's take a look at our database. Let's go to the view, choose Field Explorer, and notice I have a few new fields like manager nickname. I can pull those onto the report now, just as if they were there before. This is the way Crystal helps kind of keep track of the sometimes subtle database changes that happen. Now that was the easy case. That means all the field and table names remained absolutely the same and all we had to do was point to a new location. There's another case which we'll be getting to shortly where unfortunately the database changed radically meaning the tables changed name and maybe some of the fields also as well changed names. 